Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Today, our summer under the star of the spotlight is on actor Walter Pidgeon, the stalwart, handsome preacher man, Mr. Griffith, in our last film, How Green Was My Valley. Well, next we have Pidgeon in the film, which teamed him with the actress with which he became part of one of the most celebrated of all screen teams, the wonderful Greer Garson. They appeared together in a total of nine films, playing themselves and one of them, and one or both earning Oscars or Oscar nominations for four of those celebrated teamings. Well, one of the best and most popular of the films they made together is this next one, Mrs. Parkington, based on a best-selling novel by Louis Bromfield. It's a rags-to-riches story that takes Greer Garson from working in a boarding house in Nevada to the mansions of New York City and the high society circles of Europe. Walter Pidgeon plays an adventurer and womanizer named Major Augustus Parkington, who marries a household maid named Susie Graham, that's Greer, and the film is all about their roller coaster life together, all of it played out against the building of an American empire at the turn of the 20th century. Now, it's a film made with all the cream of the talent crop at the MGM Studios at that time. I mean, the cinematography is by Joseph Ruttenberg, the music score is by Bronislaw Caper, costumes are by Irene Lentz, professionally known as just Irene, and makeup is by Jack Don, whose main assignment was to make Greer Garson at the age of 40, convincing as an 18-year-old girl all the way up to a dynamic octogenarian of 84. This movie also has one of those impeccable casts that MGM was known for, a great mix of stalwarts such as Edward Arnold, Agnes Moorhead, Gladys Cooper, Cecil Kellaway, and Lee Patrick, with interesting newcomers at the time, such as Peter Lawford, Dan Duryea, Francis Rafferty, and Tom Drake. Tom Drake went right from this film into playing The Boy Next Door with Judy Garland in the Meet Me in St. Louis. Our movie brought Greer Garson her fourth Best Actress Academy Award nomination in four years. The following year, she made it five for five. But here's our star of the day, Walter Pidgeon, in 1944 as Mr. Parkington and Greer Garson as Mrs. Parkington. Thank you.